welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy, and today we're going to talk a little bit about whatnot. Uh, usually, my co-host and cohort, uh, Mr. Magazine, is here. However, he's not the biggest fan of whatnot, as uh, anybody who watches the channel uh, definitely knows. But I wanted to go a little bit deeper into the venue. Um, if you haven't already joined, uh, Primetime Treasure Hunter has a Whatnot for Resellers page over on Facebook. Definitely worth joining. Um, you get a lot of good information on there and you get a lot of uh, commentary and that from the sellers uh, telling you everything going on. I just kind of want to do a little follow-up to the last one I did with the best practices for Whatnot. Uh, a few more things that I have learned. Um, one interesting thing that they were mentioning over on the uh, Facebook group was uh, one person that has been involved in selling for about 20 years said he's never seen a site that divides people so much as whatnot. And even on our channel here between Mr. Magazine and me, there definitely is a division. Uh, I know Primetime Treasure Hunter absolutely loves it. I know Auction Professor has particularly no use for it and so on. And I think probably the most important thing with whatnot is to define what it is. Uh, what are you over there selling? Now, obviously, if you are a, a Post Malone type, a, a Chumley type, doesn't matter. You're going to get a lot of people. You're going to get good money. Uh, this video is not meant for them. This video, although certainly they are um, more than welcome to hit the like button, as are you, uh, and they're more, invite, more than welcome to come on the show. You're invited anytime. Um, that being said, for most of us, uh, we're not in that in that boat. We're not going to automatically have crowds of people coming to our auctions no matter what. And that thus, the most important thing, which we have other videos talking about as well, just in general, is the importance of consistency. And one thing that I noted uh, previously in a video is you've got different types of buyers. Um, I can have a lot of people come to my comic auction. Most of those are not going to come to my ephemera auction and vice versa. So you've got definite segments on whatnot, especially in the way that it's set up. I did pick up a couple of small collections of sports cards, and I was thinking of putting them on whatnot. And then I said, I don't have enough to do that. Um, nobody's going to come to the first auction or two or no one to speak of because my regulars are not into sports cards and the people who are buying in sports cards aren't necessarily going to stop by and see me because I'm an unknown entity. Uh, they go see various auctions that they know the people. That's the way they're going to continue. So it is a difficult site to build yourself up. Uh, you need to basically be consistent. Do the same type of auction every week at the same time. I mean, that's the best advice I can possibly give you. Um, I do have some books. I've been stockpiling books right now. I've got enough I could do one auction. I'm not going to do that because I want to get four or five, six auctions worth of back stock so that way I can begin to uh, list into books and week after week after week because a one-off book auction or a one-off sports card auction or a one-off Funko auction or the like is not necessarily going to draw the crowd. The people who seem to have the most success do the same type of item week after week after week. Um, I'm a firm believer, have it be the same time every single week. As, as we've talked about on other videos, nothing is doomed television shows more than they can't find a time. Um, they're inconsistent. They're on at uh, 8 o'clock on a Wednesday, and then they get moved halfway through the season to a Thursday, and fans don't necessarily follow them, or fans have uh, other things that they're doing on a Thursday, and, and so on. So definitely do that. Uh, be consistent. Uh, second thing of advice, which I've not taken yet because I've not had the time, but certainly I will do so as I find the time to do it, is, uh, at least currently, it defaults into the Buy It Now section. You should have Buy It Now items up. I do not. I readily admit I do not. I know that is a weakness of mine. Uh, I don't have enough hours in a day as things are now, but 60 weeks who's counting will be retired, and at that point I will do it the right way, uh, which, again, I am not doing currently. Uh, but you definitely should have some uh, buy it now things up there. A uh, third thing I would suggest is get into whatever group you're in and kind of look around at the competition and, and don't necessarily treat them as competition, treat them as comrades. And what you want to do at that point, um, there's been a lot of uh, positive vibes within the ephemera. I also positive vibes within the book. Uh, get known, get known in that area. Uh, 
and there might be special events within that niche. Uh, there was Paper Palooza, there was the Book Bazaar, there was uh, Ephemerama, Ama Ama, and so on. If you need to be the one to uh, start it, do so. Uh, be in touch with whatnot. Say, hey, look, I was thinking about having an event. See how they're able to help you. Get five, six, seven, ten sellers together. It works out really, really well. I've gotten new buyers off of uh, the various things that I've done, and I'm sure that some of my buyers that know me have gone on and checked out other people as well. So it's a win-win type deal. Um, that's where we can all work together to build the site because each of us is kind of our own independent entity trying to build ourselves up, and the more we can all get together and share viewers, the better off it works for everybody. Uh, one little practical thing I'd like to definitely tell you is uh, with the app, you want to remove the app and then reinstall the app, uninstall and reinstall the app regularly. And there are updates, uh, but it doesn't always update properly, uh, and you can wind up with glitches. Um, I've had any number of glitches throughout the, the year or so that I've been selling on there. They've gotten fewer and far between. One of the big reasons why is uh, about once a week, I uninstall the app and reinstall the app. Don't worry, you won't lose anything. All that you need to do is remember your uh, username and password because you have to re-sign in. But otherwise, you'll be able to keep everything that you had up there. Um, be very, very uh, diligent about your shipping because remember the way they, they add the shipping up and they, they you know cost so much per extra item and the like. Um, just kind of understand the way the shipping process works. What I try to do is if a book auction, I don't worry so much about it because you can do media. Uh, but otherwise, anything else, I try to keep my lots, generally speaking, under 15 ounces so they can go first class. Um, and I kind of weigh them up and kind of, it's a conscious decision on my part because otherwise they would automatically have to go priority. And somebody may not want, you know, they're out in California, they may not want to pay priority shipping. Uh, there is no option for flat rate uh, on there whatsoever. You're not, in fact, you're not allowed to use the flat rate packaging. You have to use the regular priority packaging you can use. You cannot use the flat rate packaging. Um, I happen to enjoy the venue. Uh, I put a lot of time into it. There's a, a craft to it. Um, it's fun uh, for me. I make a, I make a little bit of money. Uh, I know Mr. Magazine always says I can make more money s listing and selling on eBay. He may be very well be correct. That being said, I'm selling things that I would never end up listing on eBay because I have so much unlisted inventory that I'm just never going to get around to it. I'm just not. Um, I do leave a fair amount of money, uh, you know, meat on the bone, money on the table for somebody else to come in and buy. Um, because this site more than any other, regulars are going to be your bread and butter. You need to have people coming back regularly to check your auctions out. And I would say that in a, in a typical auction, 70% of the people, 75% of the people, maybe eight, maybe even higher, maybe 80% of the people that come in are people that have shopped uh, with me before and they're coming by to check out what I have again. Uh, that really, really helps. But one thing that you, you need to do as well is get to know your regulars, get to know what they're buying, and try to make sure that every auction, if possible, unless it's a themed auction, has a few things in it for each regular. So that way the regular comes by and says, oh, I, I do postcards, he's got some postcards here, or I do photos, he's got some photos, and so on. And sometimes they end up buying things that they weren't otherwise going to buy because they bought two postcard lots, and hey, the shipping's cheap in this other thing, and it's pretty neat, and they end up buying it. Because the longer they stay, the more likely they are to buy something else. And finally, that would be the last piece of good advice that I would give you, would be work on themed auctions. Now, obviously, I've got the themed auction of the $3 ephemera Tuesdays. That's what I do every Tuesday, 4 o'clock Eastern. Check it on out. Paper going over on whatnot. I do ephemera auctions. Um, I had been doing until I didn't have them sorted. And if you see over my shoulder there, I will be getting to them again. I was having $5 comic auctions every Thursday. I've got to get that stuff sorted, and then I can get back into doing that again. Um, However, some of the best auctions I've had have been themed. I did a number of auctions, thanks to Mr. Magazine, that just had trade cards. I did a bunch of auctions that I had one that was nothing but holiday, uh, all holiday stuff. I did a couple of transportation uh, auctions. So if you get into a collection of a lot of similar type stuff, what I would suggest at that point is 
put the stuff aside, and then make sure that you, you get the auction scheduled about three weeks to a month in advance, and then you can hype it up every opportunity you have, whether you've got the YouTube channel, whether you've got Facebook, Instagram, whether all you do is hype it up in the previous uh, whatnot auctions. Just keep telling people, hey, if you're interested and you need to come, if you're interested and you need to come, and then you'll end up getting a lot of people bookmark, uh, bookmarking it. And then I always stress pre-bid. Uh, if the people are able to pre-bid on the items, then a lot of times they're not necessarily there at the auction, but they've already put the bids in and on it as well. So that definitely helps as well. So hopefully that helps you a little bit over here, a little bit of a, a follow-up primer on whatnot, a few more best practices that I've learned. Uh, do hit the like button. That's always the best practice, no matter where you are. Uh, one last thing, ship quickly. Um, I can't always ship the next day, but I know what not gives you two days, but in the midst of my auction, I'm always very quick to say, hey, I'm going to be shipping out on, and I let people know, um, especially during wintertime, if bad weather is on the way, I'll sit there and I'll say, hey, I'm going to attempt to ship this out. However, um, just as long as people are in the know, they, they tend to give you a, a, you know, they tend not to get quite so upset. Uh, obviously, if all of a sudden they get four feet of snow, I can't ship out. But if I warn you that, hey, I might be getting four feet of snow, you're going to be a lot more understanding about it. So hopefully that all helps you some. Hopefully, if you haven't checked out what not you do, it is it is a, a very interesting site, to say the least. I really enjoy selling over there. Uh, I know I do leave money on the table, so do check it out. Um, I'd rather ship it out to you because, again, I've got too much inventory I can't possibly list. You might as well make some money as well. So check me out over there, hit the like button here, and we will see you next video.